only moments away. We saw the Dodo 30 second board. It has now gone sideways. We are ready for race number one. Gates go down now. And they are underway. What a start. They did hold a very long as they dive in the first turn. And have a look at Matt that. Moss, the Matt number Moss. one with the red background for good reason. And Lawson bopping Suzuki one and two. Great start from these guys right next to each other on the triple. Moss on the inside, bopping on the outside. This, of course, is the first of the triple challenge for the lights. Luke Stike up the inside. He's had a great one. One rider I did see very deep. That was our... Uh, look at that. Stike moves into second. Sorry, I just got off track. Marmot was buried deep in the pack. Luke Stark has leapfrogged Lawson bobbing into second place and hasn't he been a revelation this year? Winner of the under-19s in the Outdoor Nationals and he is all over the back of Matt Moss. He is clearly one of the top guns. What a great start for all of these guys as we look at the battle between Stike and Bobbing. Oh, Stike nearly pulling up short. It's quite a hard jump there. And uh, there, sorry, Stike to bossy. the outside. Bopping up the inside through the whoops and he makes the pass. That tells you our current positions. We're on lap three of eight. Already it's starting to get through. Stike is having a great run. Remember this guy hasn't got any of the factory support that the guys in front of him do have. So he is having a tremendous run right now. He's looking what a battle between third and fourth place. Stike and the Circo Yamaha rider Kirk Gibbs. We are back to the lead and it has closed up. Ladies and gentlemen at the head of the pack, Matt Moss has got company. Lawson Bopping is coming. Wow. He's feeling the heat here in his local hometown crowd. I tell you, so that's really just slowed things down for only momentary. Look at the top of the screen though. Gibbsy is starting to come into play. And I tell you, he had some fast times in his heat race. Gibbs is so fast. Now what happened there was a major problem. Obviously on the triple. First two place getters had to roll all three. Gibbs did not have to roll. He jumped the triple and made up quite a bit of ground. Now as he comes through, he will receive the last lap board. Last lap board out for Matt Moss. Cunningham was the rider that went down and he was supposed to be the heir to the throne. He was the one that was going to step up and challenge Matt Moss here tonight in Canberra. Well, Cunningham was very fast earlier on. He was just starting to challenge. There is Kirk Gibbs on screen, the bike, five circa Yamaha. If he can get himself a good start, I think he could be a major player in this one. He sits there in third place at the moment as we go through the whoops once again. There is only a couple more turns left for our lead riders into some lap traffic. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to come down to this checkered flag and it will be Matty Moss that takes the victory in race number one. Great outside. Five second board sideways. This is Moto2 in the triple challenge here at Canberra Stadium and they're up and racing. Who's going to jump out first? It's a Suzuki again. Matt Moss has got his second. Yeah. Hold shot, great wow. job. But have a look who's right beside him. Oh, up the inside too. He just went out of screen and he's made the pass. That is Cunningham. So already we've seen Cunningham try to make amends for that first race disaster. Well, this is the battle we've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh Brendan Harrison comes up the inside and hits Matt Moss. It has gone from bad to worse. Wow. Ma Moss has dropped all the way back to about fourth or fifth place and he needs to keep out of the carnage. And there is a big crash in the background just there. A couple of riders going down and I did see that Lawson bopping was buried deep in the pack. As we look at our leaders right now, there is Cunningham and Harris. What a great start by these guys. And again, Luke Stike. Now that is all the way it has played out straight away from that first turn and that is Kim Ashkenazi that has gone down. The veteran that has been around for so many years. He has got so many national championships under his belt. Ashkenazi has gone down. Now they will be cautioned, the yellow flag, the ambulance flag is out and waving. Durant Stapleton, that bike we just saw in the background, the red Honda, he, uh, he has come under some kind of stress and he is trying to get that bike started. Yeah, well, so far fastest lap time was cutting in, but a 36.6. A very, very fast lap indeed, especially considering they've got to slow down for this rider down. And he is opening up a lead. He has a 1.7, sorry, 2.1 lead over the rest of the field last time around. Can you tell That's us, it. how is the track shaping up down there? Is this moisture starting to ease up a bit? Is, are we getting a bit more traction tracks on? It, it looks to be a little bit more traction. Obviously, the Speedway style starts straight as they cross. Still a little bit slippery, but the speed these boys are carrying through the berms is incredible and sit back and enjoy and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, well Cole Cunningham at the head of the pack. He looks to have checked out just a little bit over Brendan Harrison in second place. But Brendan Harrison is about to come under siege by Matt Moss, the winner of our first moto that he'd like so far. He needs to try to pick it up a little bit. Cole oh. Cunningham, very short on the big triple. You could see him stretching it out, just making sure he made the distance.
Yeah, that was a big case out. Okay, so Ashkenazi now off the track. The guys are able to get through cleanly. One more turn for Cunningham. He is going to take the victory here. And he is going to be a very happy man. Coming across in second place, Harrison. And look how close it was for Marmot. I think we can be reasonably uh, confident of is that Matt Moss will get another good start. The five-second board is sideways. This is heat three of the triple challenge here at Canberra. Can Matt Moss jump Whoa. out? We've had a rider completely jump out ahead. And the gate has dropped. It is Carnage here at Canberra. And Matt Moss does not get the start. That looks to be Luke Stike. And Luke Stike, once again, bobbing is also up there. Money at two now. That was McNeil that jumped out early. He waited and went right back, so he made no advantage at all. It'll be interesting to see how the officials play this one out. Now, we've just been given the word he will receive a 15-second penalty for, uh, for completely jumping the start. Now, these guys are going to be working overtime to try to fix that gate before the first of the Super Hex Finals. Wow, what congestion. Have a look at the background there. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eight. They're all so close, but Stikey is just running away with this right now. What a ride by Luke Stike. Welcome to Super X.